everyone, welcome back to Play Crash the Nation, Population 355, and welcome back to the next episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I lied, I'm not going to go off and uh, edit this video, I'm actually going to continue playing. We're here in the Forbidden Woods, and I think we're probably uh, due for a good old boss fight at some point. Oh god, help me. Help, I would like to, I would like to mount this flower. I can't seem to mount the flower. I would like to mount anything at this point. We gotta go all the way down here, really? You can't climb out of this water. Okay, uh, we're, we're on our way. Uh, we're almost completely done exploring this dungeon according to the map. He's the map, 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 and according to him, we are almost done exploring this place. I wonder if we can use this as a something. Uh, first things first, I'm the realist. I'm gonna wanna throw, fudge me, man. Are you kidding me? Uh, can we really not climb this? You really just can't reach your tiny little link arms up. That's okay. Uh, we're getting close to finding the boss key, and then once we find the boss key, I guess it's just a matter of finding the boss door. <laughs> That's what most would say. Uh, but first, I want to blow that door across from us up and see what's over there. So if we could just get a nice little Chuck going down here, a little Chuck Berry. Really? Not going to happen. Okay. Got to hand deliver this puppy. Got a hand deliver. Just kidding. Just got to get a little bit closer. Perfect. Blow that up. And we have a door here. Hold on. Just want to see where I'm going here. Mm, this appears to be in a room with a chest. And then the other way will lead us to a tiny room with a chest. The question is, how do we ultimately get... Looks like that room right there is how we'll ultimately get to that. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Maybe not a literal bridge, but there is something in here. Oh, God. Okay. Easy enough. Hey, how's it going? Just gonna go in. All right, really just wanted to grab onto that center area if we could. Uh, apparently I cannot. Okay, Boomerang, you're gonna do some work in this uh, area. Okay, not, not the grappling hook really. Not really the grappling hook, not really what I was looking for. Okay, also not what I was looking for, but it worked. So, whack that guy while he's down. Make him very upset. Whack him while he's also down. Okay, so you can kill them in the water. I was misinformed earlier. Destroy all these guys. Oh my god, of course it's blocked. Get rid of these guys. They're blocking my way. They're blocking the way, man. Get out of here. Also, some just get these things off this thing. Really just making my day. Rustling my jimmies, if you will. You guys ever had your jimmies rustled? Do you guys know anybody named Jimmy or Russell? Then you probably have. Hey, I'm just gonna whack you with this if we could. This boomerang is made of adamantium. The, the amount of damage that we do to everything is insane. I would like you to just climb this. It's insane, and I love it. It's making my life a heck of a lot easier. Okay, cool. Uh, cut some grass, apparently, so still the greatest. I would like to, no, I would like to just hit this thing. Yeah, I would like to just hit this thing, because you know how we can kill everything in one hit? Hey, hey, Link, right there. Perfect. All right, I can't quite get in there yet. I don't care who you are. Yeah, I can't quite get in there yet, but I'm... Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? All right, well, uh, mistake on my part, but mistake on your part for not capitalizing on said mistake. Yeah, I can't really do anything when my boomerang's gone, so if you could just chillax, my friend. I, I also... Nice, I can't reach while you're down there. Okay. Uh, there's got to be a way for us to open that door. And once we do, I think we'll pro... Ooh, who needs to open the door? Please put this away. Put, put this away. Put this away needs to open the door when you can just sneak in the back door. How's it going? How's it going? Hey, if you would like to open back up. Hey, could you open back up, my friend? I, I like literally can't see a thing. Okay, so can we do like a wombo combo here where I slice all your thorns and then you open? No. Hey, I literally can't see a thing. Hmm help I, I the camera angle in here makes me so sick that i just don't i don't want to be a part of it um there's probably a way to open that front door so we'll figure that out first i don't know why they would create the back entrance though because i feel like if you're just gonna let me open the front door anyway then why is the back door even an option you know what i'm saying pick one or the other get a nice little handy tattoo to let me know what do we got here nice a jumping flower jumping flower will allow us to Oh, I see. I think I see what you, I think I am picking up what you are, in fact, uh, putting down. Gonna do this. What do we got in here? All right, so we got a bomb flower over there, so I can throw the bomb in. 
That is always an option. So go ahead and if we could do this, bring that over to Papa. Papa's gonna need that. Much like he needs a new pair of shoes, Papa also needs a floating platform powered by uh, wind energy. Okay, I I've hit this thing multiple times. All right, we're going for the far one. Going for that, all right, can't reach. All right, uh, please help. Like, I, I just need some help here. Like, you're struggling quite a bit, Link. I just need you to move the platform. Can I just push us? Can I just... There we go. I can just say, yeah, go this way. Yeah, who freaking needs the spinny things? I certainly don't. Okay, now the scary thing... Actually, it's not that scary. You just go here. We're gonna slice all these down first of all because I hate bushes. Then, that's not like a presidential statement. We're gonna do this. We're gonna run here. We're gonna throw the thing into the hole. Hole in one. It appears to be a hole in one. I'm the mini golf master. I've played Rugrats in Paris before. And then we'll do this. We will slide down the hole. Oh, please slide down the hole. And open the chest. Maybe the front door doesn't open, and that's why this back door exists, so we can escape through that portal. What do we got in here? Another treasure chart. So another uh, useless artifact, if you'll, if I may say so myself. Although I'm pretty sure these are actually pretty helpful. If you want to like 100%, I mean, they're necessary if you want 100% the game, because then you can go find all the stuff. But I don't really care about the stuff. Can we just like, you couldn't just like open the door for me? You can just be like, hey, here's the easy way out. But I guess that makes sense why this is here now. So I at least will give your game design a little bit more credit. And we're going to escape this room because we've opened the chest and there's nothing for me here. <clears throat> now. Yeah, so I don't want like that's back. But we will take care of it post haste. And we will also take care of bringing this thing back down to my level if we could. Nice. Bring that thing down here. And we should be able to in a very similar fashion to how we just did up there, we should be able to steer this thing relatively with our wind power. Yeah, it seems pretty easy. At least it's not like that level in... How's it going, buddy? Doing okay? Cool, you seem like you're doing fine. Uh, at least it's not like that level in Super Mario Sunshine, uh, where literally if your platform hits the wall, then it gets destroyed. Hey, buddy. Boosh right back at you. Um... At least it's not like that level, because that is one of the most annoying things to do in the entire game. Hey, I'd like to go this way. Yes, wind power. Man, this is why we haven't gone green yet. It's so unreliable. But there we go. As long as you get a, a million little boys that just uh, run around. Oh, we got some oozy slime. Oozy slime. Okay, I need to be ungrabbed. Need to be ungrabbed. Need the li 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 littlest amount of grabbing possible if we could. These things, these things, th these things seem to be infinite, the little grabbers, and I'm sure they're going to be a mechanic in the boss fight because they're showing them to us right now. So I should probably learn how to handle them. Yeah, they're definitely infinite. So the question is, can they become uninfinite if I use this? No, they seem to still be infinite. So let's just go ahead and get to the next room because the next room has the chest that we need. Okay, it also has some thorns. Mini boss? I mean, like, I smell an ambush. <laughs> you smell that? It smells like ambush. I mean, it certainly smells like ambush to me. Uh, however, that I can't help but notice that is the door that we get to the boss fight in. And we also have five of these, so it's kind of like perfect situation to go wambo, bambo, 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 open the door. And that is where the boss key is, if I'm not mistaken. It's possible I'm mistaken. Do you hear that? I feel like they wouldn't. That's what I'm like. I feel like they wouldn't just give the boss key to us. But let's see. As we open the chest inside, we find the big key. Big key. Sorry. Use it to gain interest to the boss fight. We know how this works. Okay, I was like, you've got to make this a little bit more difficult on me, guys, because otherwise... Hey, you want to get whacked in the face? Ooh, yeah, you do! Freaking get boomed! Not like, uh, boomer in, um... Oh, two at the same time? It seems a little unfair. But also, when I can just stun you like this, you got nothing on me. Hey, you guys want to calm down? Okay. 
Again, you got nothing. I can stun you, and I can just do some damage to you. And you should be dead, my friend. Ow. Not quite dead yet. They can't even smell me. They don't even know where I am. Hello. Okay, that's amazing. I forgot you don't have to aim at them. You can just target them and go, I want to throw this boom. Oh, my God. I forgot you can just go, I would like to toss a boomerang at you. Toss a boomerang. And I'm afraid you can just do that. I got to remember that because that's probably how we're going to do in the boss fight. Much similar to how we did the grappling hook the first time around. You know what? The boomerang makes it literally so easy. Why would I not just do that? Put the stars around them like they're confused in Pokemon and just make things easy on myself. Yeah, I was going to say, if you could drop one of these and give me some HP back. Both of you guys dropped one. I must say I'm quite appreciative of that because I'm going to want to be at full HP for the boss fight. We're already at full rupees, so that's not a big deal. I will take these nice skull pendants from you, though. And now we'd like to get up there. Did you leave me a jumping platform of some sort? Uh, perhaps a grappling hook can get me up there? It seems to be. Seems to be. What a beautiful sunrise. When I looked at the sun at first, I was like, oh no, it's going to teleport me to a level. But then I realized I wasn't playing Super Mario Sunshine. Oh god, we might go to that level on this week's stream, and that terrifies me. Oh god, we are definitely going to go to the underwater dentist level. Okay, so now we're back here. Perfect. So now I just need to go. Let me just like take a quick little peek just so we can see. We need to go to the boss fight. The boss fight we connect to from that room, which is just the something. <laughs> just the big room. I think it's just the big room. Please stop. I think it's just the big room where uh, we came from. Hey, uh, this is a little cheap and I would like you to stop. I think it's just the big room that's connected to this thing. Is this not the room? Should be, right? Yes. We're in the correct room. We just need to be on the correct floor. So we need to get to two floor. So if you could go ahead and take me up. Take me up to the river, man. Oh, got to do this. Got to do this. Not smart. Not intelligent. I am not. Okay. So now from here, I mean, it appears that this would be the correct way. Would be my guess because it's the only path I haven't taken yet. And so we'll go here and yeah, that seems pretty dastardly. I'm going to just whack these guys and make my life a little bit easier. Make my life a little bit easier for me. Hey, how's it going, guys? If we could just get off of me. Okay. Uh, don't know how I did that, but I'm the greatest. So, you're dead? Yes, you are dead. Easy. So, I have a feeling the boss is just going to be a big one of those guys. It's usually just a big one of something that's in your area. This should give us, like, a fairy in a bottle or something to heal us. Usually, they... Oh, God, please stop. Usually they'll give you one of those bad boys before you go into a boss fight, just to make things a little bit easier. So let's see what they got in here. It is a joy pendant. Don't listen to me, guys. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But maybe in the grass... Oh, we're not even in the area. That's why. Uh, but if we go to the next area, then in this area, this is looking pretty boss fightish. And also terrifying. And also, I need to destroy this... Grab one of these, set it on fire, if we could. If I could set it on fire, please. And we need to light this boy up. Okay, need to light that boy up so that we now have a teleportation thing to here. Perfect. Can I also set these on fire? There's got to be a fairy in a jar in one of these. They'll usually give you one before boss fights, I thought. All right, well, that seems uh, awful, and I hate you for that. Okay, enemies too. Great, yeah, just weaken me before I go into a boss fight. That is what I'm looking for. Okay, cool. More slime jellies, really? More slime jellies. Would like some HP, guys. If we could get some HP, if we could work on that, can you guys let your managers know that he's not happy, meaning me? Oh my god, I've unleashed more. I've unleashed more. Please stop. Please just end it. I'm already going to have a tough time with this boss fight, I'm imagining. There is a HP. There's no fairy in a jar, huh? There's the fairy in a jar, and I, of course, picked it up. But that means there's probably another one here. No, there's not. He knows nothing. If those things are going to be on me this entire boss fight, I'm just going to be in for a rough time. So let's go ahead and just go in um, to my inevitable suffering. And we'll see if we can beat this guy in the remainder of the episode. Oh, it's the little guy that we need to save. Oh, I wonder. This flower is probably completely innocent. I should probably stand directly on it. Hi, buddy. It's Makar, I think your name was. Don't eat him, please. He ate him. Alright, so he just ate him. 
and this is gonna be the boss fight, and there's the tentacles. Okay, so I was incorrect about the other thing. Correct about the tentacles. Tentacles are definitely a thing, and it's definitely looking like we're- Oh, Jesus. If you thought you liked tentacles before... Help. Oh, Jesus! So clearly we need to chop down his uh, tentacles, but the question is going to come down to when is it safe to do so? So I guess you just gotta get far enough away from this thing. So I go one, we go two, then I'll go three. He sounds pretty far, so let's go ahead and chop down some more. And then we'll probably have an opportunity to attack somewhere. Okay, these are really scary. He's not... Oh god, he's going for the whip. He's going for the whip! He chopped out the whip. Oh, Jesus. Okay, one, two, three. Oh my god, he regrows them, so you gotta go a little bit quicker. You gotta go a little bit quicker. Me, you gotta go a little bit faster. Is that all of them? Is that all of them? No, I got hit by something, which is just great. That's what I was looking for, really. I'm gonna get hit here, probably. Would be, yeah, would be my guess. Not just hit, I got devastated. Oh my god, please. Help. I can't seem to get an angle where I can get all of them very easily, which is not good for me, but it looks like we only have a couple left, so if we can chop those down. Yes, he has fallen down, and now the question is, can I attack his juicy center? I can attack the juicy center. Uh, I don't want to be inside of that. Yeah, I don't like what you're doing to my body right now. <laughs> really not a huge fan. Okay, so you gotta wait for him to go back up, and then you gotta see if you can get him with the cheap shot right here. What are you doing, though? What are you doing, though? Hit him with that cheap shot, fall down again, fall down again. Now, can I hit you with like a little stun or something? Can I hit you with a stun and do more damage? Oh, I keep messing that up. You gotta get out of there. It's also possibly maybe we should just hit him with the boomerang a bunch of times. That's a possibility as well. Can't help but notice uh, little to no HP. Oh my God, he just wallops us. Little to no HP to be had here. Little to none, unless I can cut the grass and maybe find some. Which is, that's how we did it in my day, Sonny. We used to cut grass for a living. And if we wanted to live, then you cut grass. Okay, cool. Great. Thanks, Pops. Really appreciate the the story. Did you also fight tentacle demons your entire time growing up? Is that is that a common thing? We had to fight tentacle demons uphill both ways in the snow. Okay, cool. Great, Gramps. Okay, so we're going to try a different approach of just whacking him with the boomerang. I just feel like we're gonna do so much less damage that way. Like, it's the safer approach. Hey, you got any hearts? Yes, you do have some hearts. I <laughs> could, because I could really use some. Ow, I've taken a whipping. I've taken a whipping. Oh, like a bad boy. Like a bad boy. I need this heart really badly. Okay, if you could do the underground. Like, I don't like the whipping thing. So if we could do the underground strategy instead. Yeah, I prefer that one. It's also nice if we can get one of the things where we get, like, way more... I'm gonna take damage here, probably. Like, when you get more than just the five, sometimes it'll just, like, luckily go through the ones you need. And it'll, uh, it'll hook you up. We are not seeming to get a ton of those, but this could be it, this could be it, this could be it. No, didn't do it, didn't do it. Okay, help. Help, please. Please don't regrill those, my friend. Please stop. I was so, we were so close. I'm gonna take more damage here. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Nice, he's down. He's down. Hit him a couple times, hit him a couple times, hit him a couple times. Get the heck out, get the heck out. Go, mmm, I messed up. So three times probably is gonna be the max we're gonna be able to hit him. How much HP we at? We got a decent amount. And by a decent amount, I mean relatively low. Okay, let's see if we can get a good little hit here. Okay, just trying to, mostly trying to stand back. Like if we could just stand back here, it seems like we can do most of the tentacling, the detentacling, if you will, from afar. Like right when he gets back up, like it's a little cheap, but it's like also probably a viable strategy. Go ahead and knock that one down. Get ready for him to fall. One, two, three. One, uh, greatest of all time? Did he just beat the boss on the first try? There's always a second phase, right? There's no way there's not a second phase. He's the greatest that has ever played The Legend of Zelda. I'm inside the cutscene. Which means I was probably supposed to kill him boomerang style, but I like to play a little swifty, aka risky. Please don't go into that portal thing yet. I know we're pretty close to it. Hello, Makar. How are you doing? 
Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on Earth was over. Is Earth? But why are you here, Swordsman? What? The great Deku tree sent you? Oh, th that's right. Today's the day of our annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. Wow, <gasps> Bone, you bet you're in trouble, boy, but I saved you, so that's all that matters. You got a heart container. That's an extra heart for us, boys, which is good. And we can talk to this guy, and he'll say, let's go, quickly. All right, I would like to go uh, witness your ceremony, if I could. So let's go back to the great Deku tree. And guys, that's two dungeons down. He's so cute. That's two dungeons down, uh, which of course means we are done with the game. So, uh, perfect. I'm just kidding. I don't know how many dungeons in this game. I guess, go ahead and tell me in the comments. I'm going to guess five. And then a final boss dungeon type of thing. Mm. Oh, Makar, you have returned safely. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but I still did not listen. Oh, do not worry, Makar. You are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Gilmore. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I have promised you. Please accept it. You had it. You just had it up in a big old dangly di uh, branch that whole time. I'll take it, though. Thank you so much. Actually, I'm going to say there's seven of these orbs. You receive the... Ferrari's Pearl. The Earth Spirit, the Deku Tree, has seen fit to give you this jewel, a treasure of the goddess Fer Ferrari. It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. All is well, Makar, do not cry. Please play your songs for me as you always do. Oh, that's right. We must begin our ceremony soon before the day ends. I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin. Perfect. Oh, God. Well, that was random. And he has a fiddle now. Oh, great. Gilmore. I don't know why he's Mickey Mouse now, but I like it. Oh, 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 oh. Many thanks to you. I shall play even harder than I normally do. Oh, Goofy. I hope you do enjoy it. Gorsh. I love the music in this game. Dude, Link's digging it. Look at him. Oh, really? You guys are all percussion? You guys can't play anything else? Oh, I just brought flowers. Whoa! You're literally watching puberty happen as we speak. So it's a little gross. Kind of. If puberty could induce... Be induced by music? Then someone out there could make a lot of money. Like Beethoven, probably. I don't think puberty could, but I do think that, well, I mean, technically it's not puberty. He just nutted, if you will. And I mean, like, literally he produced nuts, Deku seeds. Uh, I didn't mean it in the gross sense, but I'm sure, I guarantee there's someone out there that music could do that for them. Now they're not going to sprout a tree. Well, in a metaphorical sense, maybe. Uh, we're getting really uh, demon close to demonetization of this video, but uh, great Deku tree. This year, you have once again produced some splendid seeds. With these seeds, we will continue to spread new forests across the great sea. Let us go, Grox, to the sea. See you all next year. Too many voices. Take care. Farewell, my son. But may the wind of chance bring us together again someday. Okay, I'm really glad there weren't more of them because I was running out of dumb voices. <laughs> But, uh, perfect. We got to see the ceremony. We got to witness, uh, something oddly sensual. Uh, you're gonna need some more practice, buddy. Whoa, thank you, Gilmore, for all that you've done for me. How was my performance? Did it suit your taste or no? The instrument is one of the great Deku tree gave me on the day of my birth. Oh, he said it's an instrument for the people. Played long, long ago. Oh, it has taken many long hours of practice for me to be able to perform at the level I do now. Oh, eight of my fellow Koroks have set on a journey to create new forests in the world. Oh, both, but both Hollow, who studies the making of potions, oh, and I are always on this island. Please come to see us again. Okay, so he's telling us that there are eight Koroks out there, which means, uh, and they're making eight new forests, which probably means eight new worlds for us to discover and explore. Now, forest isn't necessarily going to be as big as this one. It could very well be, though. I don't know. Let's go tell our good news to the Baron of the Red Dragon Great Ocean Boats, whose name that is not, but whose name... Uh, hey, Squidman, you want to sod off, please? And maybe never talk to me again? Hey, how's it going, guys? Just falling down the waterfall. Nothing to see here. 
Uh, I'm gonna go talk. I figured once I killed all of them, they would leave this house, but instead they're still here. Hello. Ooh, there's something in the mailbox. It's jibber jabbering like I've never seen before. Check. Good morning, Vietnam. Letters for Gilmore. We have one letter. Here is your letter. What is this? Oh my God. Spit it out with a little more gusto next time. Dear Gilmore, if you're reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I'm very sorry. And I leave, let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If you get any letters or parcels to you, for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside of them. It's the last time I look inside a wiggling, uh, what? I suppose you have a long journey before your perilous journey is done. I didn't really read that right. I have included a gift for you with my letter in the hope that it might help you. Please accept this small token. I look forward to the day we meet again. May fortune fill your wings. You just reminded me about the fact that I can't fly. From Kamali's father, we receive a piece of heart. That's awesome. That's three. If we get one more, we'll have a sixth HP. So we should probably do some side quests to make that happen. But first, we're going to talk to the Baron of the Red Dragon Sea Oceans. So this place too has been attacked by Gaddon. Could he already be reigning, regaining his power? Gilmore, you must get the remaining pearl. There's only one more. It lies in the palace. In the map. It lies in the place northwest of here. We must set sail immediately. I'm going to jump in your back and I'm going to trust you. Oh, great. Uh... Crusader. Uh, sail, we'll go ahead and put to X. Grappling hook is fine. And you know what? Well, we're gonna need to use this real fast to change the wind direction. So you're wanting me to head northwest. Uh, well, luckily that's exactly where I pointed the wind. <laughs> so pretty thankful for that. And uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and start sailing. Um, Right now, see you guys. Uh, not you guys, you guys are still here and we are still here. So I need to make sure I'm kind of a no, more, no, 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 more westernly than northernly. Northernly, in if you will. Um, I need to be more westerly than northerly and we're just gonna hit it. We may hit this island along the way, like we're in like a direct collision course. Oh, I forgot we were gonna do the fish thing. I know I said we were gonna do the fish thing, but it's a too little too late now. I will go ahead and get out the bait bag so that we can map that to Z and then when we get closer over here because this island's got to have something too right this island will probably have something too and then we can have a fish map this island and then maybe we'll end this one by exploring this random little island because it doesn't look that big although it could literally be the next island and it's just that far away and it's going to be that big when we get there but if you look at it there's no way that's too far that is much too far this is going to come up quicker than that and then we will, I don't really know if this is the right strategy is to do this and hit it with the pump strats. We get some sort of tropical island here that is just straight up loaded with uh, things. And here's the fish. So they said, stop. They said if we stop by the fish and we throw a little bait out, Throw a little bait out, buddy, buddy, fish buddy. How you doing, man? You want to go ahead and uh, pepe le pew, paint my thing? Oh God, you have nipples. Oi, small fry, yeah, yeah, I've heard. Take you, you would chart information about this island and start by opening your scene chart. Let me go grab my paintbrush that somehow stays perfect underwater. Okay, he's gonna draw this in for us. Thank you, sir. Now do you draw the whole block? No, you just draw this island. I wish you'd draw the whole block. So tell me, small fry, have you heard of the golden set of triumph, folks? It's right there, I tell you. A chart that shows you where they are in that house. If you want it, you better go in there and scour the place from floor to ceiling. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear more again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, fry. Can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. So are you going to be in the same place? No. No. But according to you, on this island, the three golden forks, what did you call them? Something like that. We'll go ahead and just pop a squat right here if we could. He's over there now. I'll give him a little bit more bait just to see, just because we got it, you know? So I'll go to him again and we'll see what he says this time. How's it going, man? We'll throw a little bit more bait out, see what he wants to say this time, and... Uh, Maybe he'll give us a little bit more tidbits of information about what we might want to do here. 
Oh, it's small fry. Oh, give me a break. What's with using the same bait all the time? Don't they make premium brand of this stuff? Oh, well, such is the life of a fish. So you want to hear about info about this here island again? Okay, so you just tell me the same thing. You better be thankful that you wasted another piece of bait on me, even though I told you the exact same information as what he just said. Oh, God, we're so far. Keep cruising, keep cruising. We're going to Ted cruise all the way over to this island. And uh, I think we'll go ahead and talk to the locals of this tiny little island. We'll give them... What? Hey, if we could calm down with the stormage, that would be cool. Go ahead and get out of this thing. We'll, uh, we'll pop a squad on this island and we'll talk to the locals next time. Let's make sure there's nothing evil afoot here real fast. Just a quick peek. It looks peaceful as can be. And there's Telescope Man again. This literally looks like a level out of Super Mario Sunshine. So uh, we'll figure out what the heck's going on with this island next time. We'll see if we can figure out these golden fork things. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end this one here. I have to edit the video and put it up because I'm tired already. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. And if you know anyone that you think would be a great Playcrastinator, go ahead and send them a bye because we would love to have them. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know I am. And I will see you guys next time for some more Legend of Zelda. Hey!